he's the fella, had the big fan behind his head, a little horn on his nose. I'm going to leave about, take about, leave about five inch uh, tail on the inflated part. I'm actually going to use, only going to blow up about two thirds of the balloon. And again, I have to hold with my fingers where I want that to stop. That, I, that way I get what I want. And with this balloon animal, we actually start by making the tail first. And we're going to make about a three finger tail. Twist that around. Another bubble about the same size. And one more bubble. About the same size. I'm going to fold this over. And this will give you my tail and my back legs. Now I'm going to make another bubble. Uh, about three, almost four fingers. Match that. Roll those, to get, twist those together. And make one more, the exact same size. And these are all three, to three and a half inches. And again, third body. Roll through that third bubble through this other two. Again, that gives me bird body, a nice stout body. I'm going to make two front legs the size of those back legs. So I got to make a bubble, but about a three finger bubble, about a three finger bubble, fold this over, lock it in. Now I have a tail, front and back legs, and a nice fat stout body. Up here, I'm going to make one, two, three, four one inch bubbles. I'm going to take the first and the fourth one and twist those in thusly. I'm going to, oops. I'm going to try to leave a little bitty piece of the nip of the tail Stick it on this. I'm going to give this a little, so I'm pinching this little nip if I don't lose it. And I'm kind of shaping the body, the head. So that gives me that little front horn. And there's his little fan behind his head. There's his little horn. Draw him a face. Now, Triceratops had three horns, so I actually drew two behind the eyes, one on each side, of course, and got the one on the nose, and that's the tr Triceratops. Yesaurus.